I have to admit this does feel a little bit like Christmas today and that's why I'm super excited to open this box with you and to show you my brand new Pleaser High Heels. I decided to go with a black color again because black is just my favorite color. It goes with everything. So this time I didn't buy boots. I bought sandals because it's summer in Australia. It's super hot and I really struggle with boots at the moment. That's why I decided to get a pair of Pleaser sandals. I went again with a size 7. That's my usual size when I wear sandals. In boots I wear a size 8 usually. I personally love 8 inch high heels and also this time I went with a flamingo model but just in sandals. So let me show you what I bought. I had a quick look I have to admit to just check out the shoes because I wanted to know what they look like in real life and when I saw them on the website I was like yeah they look awesome and they also do in real life so those are the sandals what stood out to me is the design and of course super shiny which means that it's gonna stick to the pole when I dance which makes my life a lot easier and also just that it's different because usually you know you have the clear strap or like a full black strap but here you have a nice design and I really like them so what I noticed because I do you know I've been wearing pleasers for the last eight years maybe maybe even longer so I feel like I can say that I know a lot about these shoes and actually only once did one um, string break so I was pretty lucky with all my pleaser high heels and I'm very happy with the brand the sole is super fluffy and super soft the cushioning is amazing you can see here very very soft for me personally eight inch high heels are very comfortable I can easily walk in them and I talk about you know when I dance and not when I walk on the street because you do have to walk differently in those platform high heels because you can easily tip to one or the other side which you can't really do when you wear high heels without a platform so that's really important so it needs to be tight fitting it needs to um, kind of support your ankles and that's going to be interesting to see if the sandals are actually going to support my ankles and if I feel safe. Another problem that I have is that my feet are usually pretty narrow so any shoe that's opened in the front can be a problem because sometimes my toes slip through and that's the worst look you could go for. So that's going to be really interesting and by the looks of it that might be a problem. Alright, let's check out the second shoe. So what stands out to me is the quality. I can't see any glue anywhere. The quality seems to be decent because I read a few reviews that apparently please the high heels they have gone downhill when it comes to their quality but so far I can't see anything that I don't like so yeah I'm very excited and as soon as the shoes fit and I decide to keep them I'm gonna take these stickers off I keep seeing girls that wear high heels with their stickers on oh, it's so cringe to me of course you can forget I get it but that's just one of the first things I do I take the stickers off because they don't belong on those shoes it's like wearing clothes and you just leave the price tag on no way no way I really struggle to see right now because I'm not wearing contact lenses so now I'm half blind and it's really hard to see but I'll get there in the end I'm short-sighted so everything close I can see but everything further away than 40 centimeters it's really hard for me to see so far it's been really easy to put on the high heels and can I do this I don't recommend doing this by the way yes Woohoo! first impression super comfortable I feel like they are the right size but they do feel a little bit too wide in the front let's see how it is when I stand up I 
first impression they are comfortable. In the beginning I thought oh maybe it would be a problem that it's just uncomfortable over the toes but I have to say that is not the case. I'm really happy about that. I do feel like it is a little bit too wide and that my toes slightly come over the platform and it's the perfect size because what I don't like is when the high heels are too big and then you have like a centimeter spare at the back and it just kind of looks like you're wearing your mother's high heels or I don't know I just don't like the look I like when the high heels fit perfectly I know it's hard when you're in between sizes but size 7 for me always works in sandals with the other high heels from Pleaser it's usually a little bit more narrow the opening so I have to see if the sandals widen over time especially with body heat and if you walk and dance a lot in those high heels there is a chance that the shoe itself widens a little bit over time and then it might happen that the toes stick out over the platform and that's also a safety issue because if you do floor work for example and when we do floor work then usually we drag our heels along the floor and you don't want to rip out your toenail and yes that happens sometimes I never did that I never experienced that but I know that there are dancers out there that ripped their toenail out on stage so ouch I can tell that I need to get used to walking in sandals again because when you wear boots you can tie them up super tight and then you get a lot of support in your ankles and so it kind of makes you feel a bit safer when you dance and walk in high heels and here of course you don't have support in your ankles it is important that if you wear sandals that they are tight enough here that it's not too loose so here I feel that I get a lot of support even though they are sandals and you can also adjust it so that shouldn't be a problem but yeah it's definitely a bit more unstable than wearing boots of course so I need to get used to that but I have to say that I really like the look of them also from the front it kind of looks interesting and that they are shiny is a bonus because they're going to be sticking to the pole like glue so the last part that I want to do today is I want to try it out on my vertical fitness bar but for that I need to get changed so I see you in a second I'm wearing the classic paradise bodysuit paired with the sport shorts from paradise all right let's see if I can climb the pole do a few tricks and just see how I feel It actually felt really good nice Ooh. and now that those sandals are Sandra approved I can take those bloody stickers off as much as I know the sandals are vegan it's all man-made all stickers are gone much better now they are mine <laughs> Thank you so much Trev for sponsoring these high heels for me. I really really appreciate it and I can't wait to dance some more in my new high heels. Of course I'll put a link down below so you can check those sandals out. They are called Flamingo 831. 8 inch and I wear a size 7. Also my original plan for today was to show you also the new Paradise Ultra bodysuit with long sleeves but it's so hot today that there was no way I actually tried it but it was way too hot because in Australia as you know it's summer it is bloody hot today so I wasn't able to put it on I tried it I really tried it but it was just way too hot so make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out when I review the Paradise bodysuit in super super shiny it's the model ultra and then also what I haven't showed you at all are those mixed pants by paradise 
and they combine the normal classic aesthetic pants with the ultra aesthetic pants. So you have shiny parts, like super, super shiny parts, and then also matte parts. Thank you so much for watching today. I see you in the next video. Thank you.